so this one's a quick one. This is about TikTok. Having our kids dance around, become famous for one thing or another. However, what we should be teaching our children at a very young age, softly, but enough to engage them in politics and understand what's going on in this country, of how to vote, why they should vote, what's going on, whether their voices are going to be silenced, whether there's going to be job prospect for them in the coming future, and whether or not they're going to be able to own a house, live a comfortable lifestyle like most of us have in the 80s, 90s and early 2000s. So, so the establishment wants us to not engage our children at a young age because by then the censorship is here. Now, my only disappointment with my family and my parents is that they didn't teach me about the importance of politics and how my vote matters and how the government works for me and not me for them. I think we need to slowly introduce our children into politics and say, yes, you can have your fun on TikTok but the importance of making sure that your voices aren't silent and that there are job prospects for you and your future and your children's future remains in the balance of your own decisions, just like us as parents. So the establishment wants us to, you know, the, the whole circus thing. They want us to ignore what's going on. They want us to sit silent and keep our minds occupied like we probably have been for 40, 50 years. But in the last seven years, things have dramatically and drastically changed. And we have to change that. Otherwise, they're gonna end up with very little because of our poor decisions and our poor guidance with our children. Food for thought, everyone. I hope you have that conversation with your kids and I hope you explain to them that if we don't come together as a country to stop our politicians from taking away our rights and potentially their rights in this whole misinformation and other laws being introduced to our country, we're going to end up like the UK, we're going to end up like Ireland and God forbid that we end up like America. So, we need to come together and we need to stand together and do something. But we can no longer sit in silence and expect something to work without putting in the effort. 